Pokemon games have remained fairly the same in their gameplay approach since their initial first release on the Game Boy, and it's hard to knock on it when it has worked for so long. But finally, we are seeing a breakthrough as Pokemon Arceus for the Nintendo Switch is going for a more open world approach with obvious inspirations coming from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we will be taking a look at all of the exciting information we have so far about the upcoming Pokemon Arceus, which releases on January 28, 2022. I believe that they can pull this Pokemon game off smoothly. This has the potential to be the largest selling Pokemon game of all time, especially when you consider the popularity and success of the Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. First of all, it takes place in the ancient city of Hisui, which actually is the Sinnoh region. Hisui is what the area used to be called back when this game takes place. Back during this time, Pokemon and the inhabitants didn't work together like in other Pokemon games. It has shown off one of the many biomes or large zones, the Obsidian Fieldlands. This is the area we have seen often in trailers and is where you'll be spending the beginning of your game and adventures. There are many Pokemon to catch and collect here as well as raw materials that can be used for crafting. Items such as healing items, lures, smoke bombs, and Pokeballs just to name a few. You find these by breaking rocks, picking up plants, catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees, and those are just some of the ways to collect raw materials that you can then use for crafting. They can be taken back to a camp to craft items you want. This looks and feels much like Breath of the Wild in its concept and design, and that's not a bad thing. Pokemon will appear depending on circumstances such as time of day or depending on weather conditions. They also will behave differently depending on their personality. Some will run away. Others will attack on sight, for example. If an aggressive Pokemon sees you, it will attack and initiate battle. If you catch one off guard, however, you can sometimes throw a Pokeball at it to catch it easier. When it doesn't work, however, it will enter battle and you will have to use your Pokemon to bring its health down low enough that you can catch it or defeat it, just like in other Pokemon titles. You can also use items such as throwing a berry to distract a Pokemon so you can surprise catch it, for example. Another thing I want to point out is is that the Pokemon will attack the trainer. So usually in Pokemon games, they only attack your Pokemon. However, in Arceus, they will attack and can incapacitate you, the trainer. If you lose all of your health, you will black out and lose some of the items you had as the penalty. Just like in other Pokemon games, however, you will be collecting data on the Pokemon of the region by seeing and catching all the various ones. There are also special Pokemon that can be used as mounts, such as Weirdeer for ground training travel, or bravery for flight travel. Basculation offers water travel. This should make exploring these vast areas much easier. Next up, they show off Jubilee Village. Here, the Galaxy team is made up of people from different regions, and there are three main cores that will have quests such as the Medical, the Security, and the Survey Corps. Jubilee Village is the main base where it looks like most of your adventures will start and end. There are also shops here, such as the Trading Post to trade with other players, clothing shops, a crafting shop, and much more. Now, as far as quests go, there are several types. Missions are to advance the main story, and requests are what they're calling their side quest content. All of these can be tracked with the UI, and they promise a big variety in the quest objectives. They show off one quest where they're asked to show someone up a particular Pokemon so they can remember what their ears look like. You can see at the end they receive three potions as a reward. Now catching Pokemon looks to have a much more active approach. Aiming your Pokeball throw and attempting to sneak up on Pokemon for a better chance of catching them without battle. However, I would assume that most Pokemon will need a battle. And speaking of battle, there are two types that you can use. Strong style and agile style. Strong makes your attacks more powerful, while Agile makes you attack faster. These styles have pros and cons, however, when you decide to use them. Strong may make your attack stronger, but the enemy may get more turns than you. Agile makes you faster in attacking, however, the attacks will not be as potent. You will have to learn to use these in addition to the various options of attacks each Pokemon has. You may also notice while watching this battle that things aren't as turn-based as they have been in the past, and taking much 
more active turn approach. Real quick before we continue, I want to give a major shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to their contributions, I can get the equipment and gear that I need to keep this channel ticking. Covering MMOs, RPGs, and of course, puppets. If you're interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And a very special major shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, and Farthest Reach. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now onto the video. There will also be customization options for your character. The clothing shop, for example, will have many different options. Even though they only shut off the early customization, I would assume there will be a lot to choose from as you advance in the story. You can also change your hairstyle and more. Next up, they talk about noble Pokemon. Now these are special Pokemon that are rampaged. It is up to you to calm them down. You can't simply defeat them. To do this, however, you will need to use bombs which are made of their favorite foods. There will be several types of bombs you will need to use the right one while surviving their attacks. If you are successful, they will lower their guard and then you battle it as you would any other kind of Pokemon. However, these will obviously be more powerful than a standard Pokemon battle, so be wary. So to wrap up, Pokemon Arceus is an open world version of the Pokemon franchise. Now, it's not so open world that you will immediately get access to all of the areas in the region. It appears that you will unlock huge fields and areas one at a time as you follow the story. But regardless, going from paths that we had in previous Pokemon titles to open fields is quite the change and looks very exciting. Also, I'm looking forward to all the secrets that you can uncover with these huge areas. The multiplayer component so far looks to be exactly what you would expect from Pokemon games, battling and trading with other players. If there are other features, we aren't aware of them yet. The addition of trainers being attacked, I think, is very fitting for the setting that Pokemon and humans haven't wanted to work together yet, and with the more open nature of battles and exploration, I think it will fit really well. And speaking of the open nature of battles, it looks like it will be a lot of fun to actively make decisions in real time, as opposed to the turn-based nature of the previous Pokemon titles, and will lend itself well to the open world feel of Arceus. With plenty of customization and large lands to explore full of secrets, catching Pokemon and looking for rares and shinies should be more fun than it has ever been before. So are you looking forward to the new Pokemon title? Let me know in the comments down below and your favorite new feature. And don't forget to drop me a like to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new here, we cover MMO and RPG content. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I'm very excited to play the newest Pokemon release and we are almost there. At the time of this recording, it should release next week on Friday, January 28th, 2022. Until next time, my friends, God bless and happy Pokemon catching and training. Gotta catch them up.